What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube scale modeling community? This is Hooterville 75 with Midnight to Ferocious Sissy coming to you from the open air model shop through the power of the internet. And in tonight's video, I'd like to discuss my personal opinion on a topic that's been discussed pretty heavily here recently in the scale modeling community here on YouTube. And that is the issue, or not issue, but the topic of paid sites. Now, I had a couple friends message me or text me or call me and ask me about my personal opinion on this. And remember, again, this is just my personal opinion. Not that it matters a damn, but I'm just a tiny peon in this little modeling community learning myself. But... I figured I'd go ahead and make a video on this and well hello there hey everybody this is Bop or yeah this is not Bopper's Bopper's passed away but this is little Gil I call her little girl that's her name she had a stroke here a few months ago and is just doing the men her just got done eating so uh personally you know like I said this is just my opinion on this not that it matters a damn, but this is how I feel on the situation. And again, to enlighten everybody on the topic, it is the discussion in regards to paid sites. Most recently with Don Yost from Lone Wolf Customs in regards to him charging for content. Now, when it comes to paid sites, you know... It's simple. Either you want to join or you don't. You pay or you don't. You know, my me personally, I choose to pay for a couple different sites. I'm a member of Flory Models, formerly known as Pro Modelers, out of the UK, which is a couple bucks a month. And the amount of info you get on that site is unreal. You know, sure, there's free content around that would probably be the same, but... It's just my personal preference to join that website. Now, most recently with Don Yost, who is a known professional model builder, in my opinion, anyhow, professional model builder, and just happens to be from my state, Pennsylvania, but he's a proven winner, proven model builder with painting techniques, you know, just any fundamental technique he's very good at. And he has most recently chose to offer his knowledge on a paid site. Now, do you want to join and pay to go to that site and learn? It's totally up to you. Either you do or you don't. I myself, I'm going to join that site. I'm going to pay to learn how he does his models because that's what I choose to do. But in the long run, what it boils down to is... Is he wrong for doing that? Absolutely not. I mean, that's his choice. That's what he chose to do. And you can either subscribe or not subscribe and be, be on. But anybody that is downing him and bad-mouthing him for doing what he's doing, in my opinion, again, my two-cent opinion, perfectly wrong. Not perfectly, but totally wrong. You know... If you don't want to do it, you don't want to pay to learn from him, just simply don't do it and proceed on. What is sitting here talking him down, bad-mouthing him, going to do for the hobby? There's no asset to be gained in downing him for choosing to offer a paid site to learn how he builds his models. You know, and, and that's what irks me the most about this situation is there's nothing to be gained by downing anybody that offers a paid site. You know, it boils down to the trickle-down, you know, thesis, not thesis, but whatever I'm looking for. You know, you do or you don't. Either you do subscribe or you don't. Don't sit here and badmouth somebody for... Wow, I don't know what the hell that was. Power just went out for a little bit. But don't sit here and badmouth somebody for offering a paid site to people that want to pay them to learn. 
You know, I hope that made sense. Probably didn't, but that's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about the situation, and I'm a supporter of it. You know, if you take, for instance, Mig, Mig Jimenez from Ammo of Mig, he makes a DVD, he makes a magazine offering his knowledge, you pay for it, you buy it. You know, that's your choice. You're buying his knowledge by buying a DVD or a magazine. It's no different than a creator from the community charging to learn his knowledge. You know, another example, for instance, my daughter, who's now 16 years old and a sophomore in high school, we have paid for her to have individual private lessons, A, pitching softball, B, basketball, and C, being a goalie in soccer. So that's three different sports that we have paid throughout her, her little young 16 years for her to learn from somebody else is knowledge. You know, does that information exist online? I'm sure. I'm sure anywhere. You know, but we chose to pay for her to get lessons to make her a better. Hey there, sorry about that. We lost power there for about a half a minute, 30 seconds or more. But, you know, we chose to pay to get her lessons to be a better pitcher, you know, a better hitter. A better goalie you know better better center at basketball you know I could have bad mouth who we went to pay to teach her but what would that have gained me you know hey this this information exists online so why should we have to pay you to teach her you know that's that's not even feasible that's just asinine in my opinion but that, that's just how I feel about it. If you want to get better at something, you know, either you pay somebody to teach you or you don't. Be content learning what you can learn online. That's fine. The more power to you. I'm not against that, you know. But I just don't like when people badmouth or try to bring somebody down for offering a paid site to teach you their knowledge. You know, so in the end, that's, that's how I feel about it. I, I was asked a couple different people how I felt about it, and I just wanted to voice my two cent opinion about it. Uh, on the model building side of things, I haven't really been doing much lately. I've been doing a lot of research. I'm in the process of building a pressure pot to cast my resin parts that I'm gonna be learning how to do. And I'm in the midst of building a vacuum, vacuum chamber as well to degas my silicone making my molds. So I've been spending a lot of time doing that. Um, I have been working on my Batman build a little bit. I got the figure pretty much assembled. You can see it. Um, you probably see I'm really hacking away sanding because these seam lines, I just don't get it. You know, like I said, I'm new myself and I've watched a lot of videos on this that just happened to be free. But if there was somebody that had a paid site out there that charge to do that, hey, more power to them. Nothing hurt, nothing nothing lost, you know? Um, every time I sand these seam lines, it don't matter what putty I use, I, how much putty I use, when I go back the next day and sand it, you know, the seam lines come back again overnight. So just when I think I have them perfect, overnight, they come back. So I don't know if this kit's haunted or what, but it's starting to get old. So I'm um, attempting one more time to get rid of them. And we're going to put a coat of primer on them and see how they look again. And if there's still some seam lines left, then so be it. It is what it is. I'm going to proceed on with it. So that's where we stand. There's, there's the cape. The cape for Batman. Here is the rock ledge base that Batman will sit on. Stand on, I should say. So, it's shaping up to be a nice little model, you know, other than that sand line issue, but it is what it is. You have, you have seam, or seam lines, there are seam lines on everything you build, so just got to get rid of them the best you can and proceed on. So, all right, well, that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in and supporting our channel, Midnight and I. You know, once again, please don't don't degrade me for my opinion because, you know, it's just my opinion, my two-cent opinion. So, 
Uh, I'm not against the paid sites. I'm not going to badmouth anybody for having a paid site. If they have that paid site, like I said, it's my choice whether I want to pay to subscribe or not. So if I don't want to, I'll move on. If I want to, it is what it is. So till then, for now, once again, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Please drop a comment down in the comment section. I try to respond to all of them. Hit the share button if you liked. If you're new to the channel and want to see future videos on my builds and whatnot, please hit the subscribe button and we'll catch everybody on the flip side. Till then, for now, this is Hooterville 75 with Midnight the Ferocious Sissy. And tonight we have little Gail here too from the Open Air Model Shop. See you now.